Oh, hello, Neil, I missed you there. How you doing, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Edinburgh's Owner's Guide. And I've got a special treat for you today. I am here in Victoria Street. Uh, Edinburgh is the most visited uh, street, basically, uh, and most popular street here in Edinburgh, where everybody who comes to Edinburgh wants to visit the street. And they visit the street because of the Harry Potter uh, franchise and series. They say that J.K. Rowling based her uh, book on this street uh, and obviously they've got the inspired Harry Potter uh, store where it gets many visitors here in Edinburgh. But I am not here today to visit Harry Potter. Unfortunately, Harry Potter is away out the country today, so we'll not be able to see Harry Potter today. But maybe in a later video, I might do a wee tour around the Harry Potter store. So check that out. So, but now we're here today to visit one of Edinburgh's best fish and chip shop. Now, on TripAdvisor, they've got a lot of good reviews. Now, people have been saying to me, uh, this is the best fish and chip shop, uh, you need to visit it, you need to mark it out of 10. And I'm like, well, is it the best fish and chip shop? I mean, it is in a heritage site. Uh, it's on Victoria Street. It's one of the busiest tourist places to come here in Edinburgh. Uh, and it's definitely uh, more pricier than um, other fish and chips place. But I thought to myself, no, I'm going to go out of my bed, I'm going to come to Edinburgh today, I'm going to review a fish and chips here in Edinburgh and mark it out of 10, let you guys know uh, how it is and what to expect when coming. Now, it is a restaurant also, so you can actually go inside, sit down. We're not going to do that today. We're going to order takeaway, we're going to go find somewhere uh, to eat it, and we're going to review it. We're going to mark it out of 10 and we're just going to enjoy the views of Victoria Street, my friends. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, click that bell for notifications, and please hit that thumbs up. It's completely free. If you are new here, uh, I'm the Edinburgh's Honest Guide. I try and give the best honest reviews and advice to tourists and visitors and locals uh, visiting the country, uh, visiting our beautiful city, Edinburgh. So if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's much appreciated. At the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Uh, but, but without further ado, let's go. As you can see, this place is uh, busy, uh, and as I say, they've got two Harry Potter stores in here. You've got the world famous, uh, obviously the most famous uh, Harry Potter store, and then you've got another one to the left, but it's, it's inspired by the franchise. Uh, you know what I mean? So there only used to be one here, and then two moved in because obviously they see a money opportunity and they have to grab it. Uh, but as I say, Victoria Street is inspired by the Harry Potter series, uh, the books. I mean, it's a lovely place to walk down uh, and maybe grab something to eat. There's not many restaurants down here, uh, but there is one place that we're going to try. We're going to mark out a 10 and we're going to let you know if it's worth it or not. And that is Bertie's Proper Fish and Chips Restaurant and Bar. Yes, that's right, my friends. We're here to review a fish and chips from Bertie's Proper Fish and Chips and Bar. Uh, it's meant to be the most popular uh, fish and chips restaurant here uh, on uh, Victoria Street. Uh, it's uh, highly rated by tourists. So I'm here today to give it an honest review and let you guys know if it's worth it or not. So let's go in and let's get our uh, order in and uh, we'll review this uh, fish and chips. Right, so what am I going to get? I'm going to go for the battered haddock and it's $14.95 which is very, very expensive here uh, in Edinburgh. It's the, probably the most expensive fish and chips that I've had compared to a restaurant as well. And that's takeaway prices. 
I mean, we've not even done sit-in prices yet, so I'm guessing it would probably be about £18, £19 pound for a sit-in uh, fish and chips. But we're going to get some curry sauce also, because uh, you can't come to a fish and chips place and not get curry sauce. And we've got a can of juice also, so I'll let you know how much it came to at the end of the video. But let's go in and collect our food. Yeah, uh, can I order some food to take away please? Yeah. Uh, can I order uh, a barred uh, fish and chips, please? Do you want the regular portion or the last one? What's that, sorry? Do you want the regular one or the last one? Uh, what's the difference in prices? Just two points. Uh, just the regular one, please. Yeah. Uh, so is that $14.99? Uh, the regular one is $12.95. $12.95? Yeah. And uh, but larger one is $14.99? Yeah, $14.95. Okay, uh, but just the regular one's fine. Uh, can I get a tub of curry sauce as well, please? Yeah. Right, I need to go find somewhere to eat these fish and chips. Now, the guy could have put them in a bag for me, but we'll let him off with that. So let's go and find somewhere to eat these uh, proper fish and chips. So, we're all set now, we're ready to review this fish and chips. Uh, I'm right next to Victoria Street uh, here in Edinburgh, and we're going to review this fish and chips. Uh, so take a closer look, my friends. It's going to get started now. First thing I have noticed that it's very greasy. Yeah, there's a lot of grease coming for this fish, so I'm going to taste that. Mm. Now, as a weird taste, different to what I usually have from a fish and chip shop. The batter is very crispy. Um, Fish is a decent size. Uh, you know, I mean, it's definitely different to what you would buy in a, a, a chip shop. Uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, on looks, it looks fine. I do think the chips are maybe a see, wee bit undercooked, but let's taste them. Mm. Now the chips. Are nice. I like them a wee bit crispier, but they're nice. A wee bit of lemon. Now I did get some curry sauce also. So I'm going to check out this curry sauce. Check out that curry sauce. Nice colour to it. I'm going to dip it in. Mm. Okay, that's different. Yeah, the curry sauce is nice. Different to what I've had, but it's nice. It's got a nice taste there. The curry sauce has uh, got a spice through it. It's not like your typical curry sauce you get for packets, which a lot of takeaway restaurants, they use packet curry sauce and mix it and they give it to you, some things of water are doing. This one's got a spicy taste to it, so it's not the same as what they use. It's completely different. And it's nice. I could fairly enjoy that. The only thing is, it's a lot of grease. It's greasy. But it is freshly cooked. So that's a, that's a plus. Right, my friends. I'm going to tuck into this a wee bit more. And I'll get back to you when I'm close to the end. I'm going to mark it out of 10. And I'm going to give you my overall review on Bertie's proper fish and chips restaurant. So I'll see you in a minute.
Well, that's me ate the food, chucked it in the bin, and I've came to the conclusion that it's not uh, the best fish and chip shop here in Edinburgh. It's far from it. Um, and I want to explain my review and the mark I'm giving it out of 10. Uh, so I'm going to give it uh, a 7 out of 10. And overall, um, it, it was okay, but it wasn't there for me. You know what I mean? The price you pay for this, and I'm going to put the receipt on screen just now. Let me know in the comments if you think that that's worth the money. You will pay a wee bit more for going inside, but just let me know if you think that's uh, worth the money or not. Uh, but overall, a 7 out of 10, uh, I'm not, it's not the best fish and chip shot here in Edinburgh. They get a lot of reviews, but these are for reviews from people from America, from people who haven't experienced fish and chips before. So the first time they have fish and chips, they're excited. And it might be to some people's liking, but for me, no, I can go down to uh, the fish market, down the leaf, or I can go to City Restaurant and pick up a cheaper and more brilliant fish uh, and chips uh, meal uh, for a uh, little, little less price and better taste and qual quality as well. So I am going to end the video there. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you agree with me, if you've been to uh, Bertie's uh, proper fish and chips restaurant, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. Let me know if there's anything I can review in the future. Uh, if you are here in Edinburgh now, I hope you're enjoying your trip. Uh, and I'm going to end the video there. So if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, click that bell for notifications, and I'll catch you in the next one, friends. Take care.